Hello and welcome back to Medieval M MC. Now, when I left off, we did some exploring. In between episodes, I did some uh, renovations and basically made a simple house, which is pretty easy. Like the stove I have over here. If you take a campfire surrounded with bricks and iron ingots, you get the stove. And if you place on top a cooking pot, like so, which is iron ingots, water bucket, two bricks, and a wooden shovel, you get this. And in the future, I might uh, go over this item because it gets uh, ingredients. And if I go look up uh, at farmers, oops. Set farmers, I guess. Um, I think like this. If I get certain ingredients, I can make special dishes. So I think that would be something useful when I get a lot of food. Get some of these. Uh, I forgot to put on this cutting board. It's pretty cheap stuff: wood, sticks, um, then some sink. It's a counter, which is planks and andesite with a bucket. A uh, drawer, a uh, chest with two slabs, a sofa, L shaped wool with two sticks, a coffee table, sticks, slabs, and a glass pane. And it doesn't change the color. I tried doing this with, say, like a blue, and it doesn't change the glass. So, unfortunately, it's just in general glass pane and that. And if anything, you can change the design if you change the type of wood. Uh, oak chair, L shape of slabs and sticks. Uh, cupboard, these two counters with the chest. And the curtains, which is white wool with two sticks. And the curtains are interesting because I thought they were only going to be for, like, say, these two. But if you carefully shift click on these, which I guess I didn't do it to that one, which is fine. Wait a minute. Did it undo itself? There we go, like this one. It worked. I guess I didn't get it on correctly on, on the bottom ones. I'll fix that later. But yeah, this little piece has to show up. And then it'll do this. But I think what I did was this. I placed this and then you carefully place this one and it should go across but yeah I got my little room a nice little fireplace and we go back out and we're right next to our warehouse which I gotta make a barn for uh oh these but I gotta at some point make a a barn for the cows and the bird cage for you and for this little robin I found Kind of cool you find these little animals. I definitely would like to do the zoo again where I have every animal I could find because there is one over in the village over there that I caught. Okay but I started flattening this area and then over here I got a nice uh, cactus farm and the sugarcane farm the basic necessities and then I elevated this so it leveled up with all this and over there is the start of a mine because I was terraforming all this I blocked off some of the old ones now what I want to do real quick is I want to make a greenhouse now I should have did this with those stuff showing the recipes that's okay that's more of a aesthetic but if you take this around it like so we get our green uh, stained glass now I believe it's an expat yes or actually shift it wait is that a th oh okay there we go and I'm going to actually do I think two more sets. Okay. And I'm just going to do this to speed things up. 
There we go. And we're going back to night time because the game just loves night. We left the bed over here. But yeah, I'm thinking this time. I'm gonna go with say like this is my house, this is my storage. Uh a space for say cactus, a space for um sugarcane, a bunch of spots for uh all the other plants which I kinda wanna do like that uh greenhouse over there. Maybe not round, I don't know if I could do it. But similar idea. Maybe they'll connect better. But yeah. Anyways, what I'm going to do here is we're just going to put this right over it. And what this will do is make it so it's year round. Because if it's in a normal area, like if I put it over there, all that's going to do is make it so that when it's winter, everything's going to break. And we don't want to have to keep rebuilding. So. We do it like this. This. I was going to make this go one more, but I realized this is a small little building. It would make no sense to do that. Oh, I forgot they could do that. And then we just break you and you. And we got a nice little uh, greenhouse for this. And then over here. Now this one, I just covered it. Put these logs here because I don't necessarily need greenhouse over this. Uh oh. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, that's why I made a lot. Do I need them anyways? Because I want to make a whole bunch of these. Luckily, I went all over the map, so I know where to find grass and uh, sand and such. Wait. And I messed that up again. Rip to glass. I guess I could just put this over here for now. And then break you. Actually, I'll just put it in the base. Yeah, eventually I want to make this like a giant city and connect it towards that other village and maybe that village. I don't know. That would be a lot of buildings, but we'll see where this all goes. Hello, and welcome back to Medieval MC. Now when I left off, I went into the caves. I felt like it wasn't that crazy. I mean, I did get some new ores. But I might just cut off most of that just because everyone's seen how a cave is. It's just a giant cave. Only thing interesting was finding new ore and uh, facing a bunch of the nightmare mobs. Which even then, they weren't too many. Now there is some stuff I think I'm going to update myself doing in this. And one of them is... I could change my origin. So if I do slash origin, uh, GUI dragon, it will bring back this menu. And what I could do is every episode, I could just do this. And then I become a new one. Maybe I get lucky, I get like a paladin. Or maybe I get unlucky and I get like a gorgon. And then I gotta be careful because I could kill my pets and stuff. I don't know. That's the idea to do though. But we'll stay human for now. And I hope that didn't mess up. Nope, it doesn't mess it up. So I tested on a different one and it dropped all my armor, but that, I think that was just the class. And real quick, what we're gonna do is I want to fix this storage. And in order to that I need the uh Tom Simple Storage mod. I would go over these again, but I'm just going to save that from my previous episode because like I said it's mainly the mining that I didn't care for. Anyways in order to do this we're going to need a lot of wood and then 
what we need is an inventory connector, a storage terminal, and I will need the trim because I want to put it one block higher than the ground. Unfortunately, this is going to be here, so it might mess it up temporarily. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up here. Now, from the version I used to do it, you had to put a like a piping on these and connect, 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 connect. No. Now, let's say it's this ones or the ones. All of this will be connected. All of that will be. As long as they're touching, it could go out for quite a bit if i seen it, right? And then the same idea here, it'll be hoppers and stuff to do that. But, let's go ahead and grab the materials I saved. And I think I'm going to need a few more things, like some glass. I don't need a torch. I will need some diamonds. Um, where did I put my glass? Oh no, did I use them all? Uh, no, I saved some, good. I need the glass. I'm gonna need the ender pearls wherever I had them right here. All right. So first things first, let's get the main item, the inventory connector. What this does is it basically, as it says here, connects all the touching inventories into one. Use the terminal to access all of your items. Trims can connect the gaps. So they're saying this. That's how I'm going to make it so I could. Uh, put it elevated. So we're going to need a lot of chests which I need two, three, uh, four. I'm going to need four chests so either way I'm going to break this down. Might as well just make this whole lot and we should be able to make this now. Now where did I get this? Some of the areas I explored had comparators and other redstone goodies. So we got this. Now I need to make a storage terminal next, like so. This glass, that's glowstone, again, from some of the places I explored, they had these items. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this storage terminal and turn it into a crafting terminal. And in order to do that, I'm going to need four of these beautiful crafting tables. And let's see if I remembered how to do this. That I gotta give up some diamonds. But for what this is gonna do, it's gonna be worth it. Now I do want the trim, which I don't know why there is two. I'm guessing one is filled or something like that. Um no one doesn't have the crafting recipe. And do I? Oh, I need sticks, huh? Um, yeah. That's why it's not working. Okay. So I do this. This is exactly how many I needed. Because what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put one here and one here. That way, when I put this down, I can place this. This used to be able to connect to a uh, pipe. I believe, but it doesn't do that anymore, which is kind of annoying. So now, I could access everything in this set. But we're not going to keep it there, because we're going to clean this up. Okay. And what did I get? Oh no, I got so many. Now, for this, I need a spyglass, but I don't think I picked up the amethyst from the cave that I found with it so we're gonna leave that alone for now but we do need a lot more chests so we're gonna break these down and we're just gonna make a whole bunch of these bad boys and yes I do intend for using every single one of these chests it's very important because you never know when you're going to need all this space. I'd, just like I'd never know when my hand will work properly so that I can get a perfect circle, well, square. There we go. A stack of these should be a good start. Let's grab these. This is going to be helpful for building because we got to build against this. So, what I'm going to do is we're just going to line this wall up 
Don't worry, it all works out. And actually, this is fine. I was going to do it from corner to corner, but this might be better that I have the gap. Just like that. I now have a whole bunch of storage space. Which I do want a little bit more. Just because I want to finish that wall. And eventually I'm gonna have to keep going. I'll go like this and then I'm going to do is basically like this and it's gonna be a little tricky because I'm gonna to have to place a block here, place it, delete this, place the block, push it, just so I can put them down. But just to prove this one works, I'm gonna delete it first. We're gonna look at this box. And what this box will tell you is how many you got. So I got 1944 slots, right? So let's say, hey, I need another row. I can put this here, and then if I right click you. There we go, 1998. Now all I gotta do is this. Uh oh, I got my backpack in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna break this one. I think that should. Nope, it didn't. Okay, we're just gonna drop that in. Backpack. I'm actually gonna put you guys. Uh, over here for now. I don't want to lose my main items. If I could do that, uh, give me my axe at least. I gotta have something to break this. Boom. There it goes. Boom. Goes. Now, this does not necessarily organize it. It will leave it all jumbled if I, well if I was able to open that, it'd be all in there. Because of Minecraft rules, you can't open it. This thing allows you to open it though. This, boom. Look at that. Hey, I had more comparators. Oh, I do have a spyglass. Okay. So we'll, we'll work on the next stage as soon as I'm done here. But first things first, we gotta clean up. Emptied it. That was weird. But yeah, this is kind of a nice feature because one, I don't have to organize this like a hundred times. And two, if I miss any of these with diamonds, this will allow me to know that I did. Though I I will say one thing. The, earlier you might have seen me have, throw in uh, enchanted books. I might not put those in here. I might actually uh, separate that. But I think that would be cool to have a little spot for the magic area. Now will I put them in uh, with the ability to do this? Maybe. I'm hoping it will work. I mean, I could technically do that and then have this system hook up to it. I don't like what I just heard. What was that? Oh, that guy. Let's turn it today. Alrighty. I actually got emeralds, so what do you have since you really want to be at my door? Uh, I mean, I could get these saplings. Mm, you drive a hard bargain, mister. And tell you the truth, I wouldn't mind getting some 
random ones. This one might not work. You might need a 2x2. Two two. Oh, you need at least 5. Uh, 2, 3, 4. Alright, I'll be safe that way. And grow. And birch. Oh. I need four of you. You are a thief with that. But then again, it is the growth pattern of it. Now that's going to be interesting when I have to grow these. It's like it would be more interesting if I actually had any of these. Okay, Mr. Bird. Let's just, just chill there. Go. Ooh, I almost hit you. I want to hurt the little robin. Now I do eventually want to name these guys. So, I don't know. What should I name them? If I should. Or should I be like a, a Pokemon trainer? I got a Robin! <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I got the Witch's Hat, which may be useful in the future. I got all this iron gear. I do gotta be careful because, or actually this works because I could have a pipe going down later if I want to start doing this type of build. Or I could do this just up here and we could have it as like an animation thing for up here. Alright, look at that. It's a nice clean area. And yes, I got all this to deal with. And why is it split stone? I thought I only put cobblestone. Oh well. Oh, I know what could have happened. It probably smelted and put it back. I don't think that's a thing, but... Hey, I'll take this move. But yeah, now if I hit, say, diamonds, well, I only got ten. But, I could at least start this, I think. I can, and I have it all. So, let's go ahead and make a wireless terminal. What this allows me to do is if I have this, if I want I can hit it from basically right here at this distance. I mean that's kind of useless. I'd rather have this one, but in order to do that I need to get to netherite. So for right now, this is a useless item. I mean if I was in here, yeah that's nice to have. Uh, boom. There we go. We got at least started. <sighs> now if I look up book, is that going to give... Yes it is. So I can have like the bookshelf. If I put the bookshelf... So 1674. 1690. I could put the books here. So... I want these books. These books will children here and if I go here there they are sweet and this one is the Arcanist bookshelf how do I do that it's literally a bookshelf okay so I could go like this I can make another one of these I'm gonna put it right here and then I hoping this will work and that is I could I misspelled book but I could take the normal uh, enchanted books I hope this works and we could put it here oh I can and it looks cool that way so let's just do this and let's go ahead and make one more just so it evens it out. Boom. 
Now I got a little uh, enchantment made. Now if I grab a book, say uh, one of these, grab it from there, if I put it back, This oh, nice. It actually fills them. Okay, now apparently you can put a bookshelf there. I guess the game doesn't care what it is. If I put it <laughs> Okay, so that's not gonna work. Okay, it was worth a try. put these away for now if it would have filtered them and only allowed the books in there that would have been cool but they did okay bird can you just like move this way a little that's a little too much this way I gotta make like an aviary or something for you I mean I don't want it to fly around because it'll teleport if I let it but I could have it so they could be in one. I mean, look at that. Other than this weird thing in the middle, it's pretty nice. Now, out of curiosity, while we get the chance, what do I need for you? Okay, so that seems pretty cheap, but for this. Oh, trapdoor and that? I could technically make those. And I think I will, just so I could just show what I could do to this. And what I want to do... Mm, actually, I'll do it here. I want this. I guess I had trapdoors, so that works. And then I want this. So, let's see. Do that. I need uh, more hoppers. One, two, one, two, three. Okay. And then we'll put you back. I said three, but that and pipe. No, uh, what's it called? Cable. Not three, but I think that'll be in. No, I need more cable. Um, so I need more trapdoors. Oops. Right, and... No, uh, cable. Start with that many. Now what I could do is like, uh... Furnace, which... Where my cobble is. Cobble. One, two. Now, blast furnace. Okay. Make one of you. And the other would be. Nah, actually, two blast furnace for now. It should be fine. What I'm gonna do. I'm going to place cable like this. Grab just a building block. So we're going to need a space, and then right here, I place the blast furnace. Okay. And I think it goes like that. Like that. And I could just. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I gotta do it something like that. So that means the floor's gotta go. Yeah, I could have this, right? And then what I do is say, like, I want some coal. And then. Do I have anything raw? 
Okay, let's say a raw gold. I know I need to get a lot more of these. But what I do is we tell it what we want it to do. So, raw gold. Now it'll fill its gold. Coal. There's your coal. Uh, iron. And the only downside is this only does one. But it'll smelt it. And then this one will pull it out and put it back in. So, hey, I need another one. Boom. And then just rinse and repeat. So how many hoppers do I got? Three? Perfect. So that's storage. I want one, two, uh, two three. And I want more cables. And then what we're going to do is rinse and repeat. So there, there. There. That'll be coal. That'll be raw iron. Okay, I'm gonna need to break you. So I need a pickaxe. I'm just gonna put you back one. Well, it stays lit. And actually, I could just do it like that, so. I guess you didn't need to move. that and then like that and now I got an iron generator oh what's this I don't need this anymore goodbye I said goodbye uh oh something happened oh the experience I forgot this thing's been going for a while, so it probably has a lot. Run, villager, run! Now, this is where it gets confusing because these hoppers are wood in this picture, but it's actually uh, stone. We'll just do a lot of that. A lot of that. I don't know why I put my special pickaxe in there because that's the only one that I have enchanted. That's iron. Uh. Boom. Nice, nice. For that, um, there we go. Now, I still need one of these every so often just because some items I'm not gonna have filtered like this. I mean, this is only going to cook iron, this is going to only or only iron, only uh, gold. And then, eventually, I'm gonna have to keep going this way. And then maybe I'll set up another line going down and we'll do a underground area for this. But yeah, this is just a start. But now all my inventory is organized. Kind of. I mean... I could do it that way. There. Don't pull from player. No, don't do that, because if I allow that, standard search, okay, perfect. So now I got a way of keeping them all organized. That's what I wanted. Okay, so let me just set this back up. Bags go here. It takes a lot of space, but... 
it's still worth it. Just real quick. And yes, if you guys didn't notice from the other episode, I took some time to clean this area up. It drives me crazy when you look at a village nearby and it was a mess so I just basically moved the houses to a little more level they're still in different heights because it's a pain to move them all and then over there I do have a pet it's a new one and this one spawned in the village which is kinda of weird but this little guy other than he looks like a lizard he does eat fish, so. But yeah. What's that? Uh, he doesn't fly. But he does look pretty cool. A giant Dakotoa. So yeah, I don't know his uh, abilities. Can he climb all? Ah, uh, I thought he would be because he's a gecko. But yeah, I definitely gotta check out the mounts. I will have to come back here eventually because I know I had librarians and I want to see if I could get a mending and some other buffs but for now we'll leave them alone. And the nice part about being near the village is if it's night there's a chance they get uh, raided. And what I mean by raided is a group of mobs come here, zombies actually attacked while I was building this. Uh, and then it was some sort of goal thing, but I didn't get to, I didn't left that alone because I want to try doing it while recording. But it looked like it was a bunch of ghouls or cursed pillagers or something like that. Anyways, for now, we'll end things here. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.